Hello and welcome to PSM Speak. The life expectancy is uh, increasing. The United Nations estimate the current uh, life expectancy average. On average, uh, people can live globally. Global life expectancy is 72.9 years, 2022. And this is going to go up to 77.2 years by 2050 so the longevity is increasing people are going to live longer lifespan expands is this a cause of worry we feel happy people the society because the science and technology the advancements in medical science health care these things have facilitated longer life but some governments are not happy with this at least on one count, they think that it is a burden to them with regards to the payment of pension to their employees. This is happening across the globe. Many countries are thinking of the increasing pension burden and reforming the pension in such a way that the employees involvement in the contribution increases and the outgo of the government comes down and the government of India is not lagging behind. Yes, in this video, let's look at though briefly what is the old pension scheme OPS. This is with regards to the government employees, center and state governments. What is the national pension system, new pension scheme NPS. Then why the details of opposition to the old pension scheme? What is the current state of affairs with regards to the old pension scheme? And its restoration if at all it is happening anywhere, wherever it is happening. And also let us look at the new challenges in the process of uh, implementation of the old pension scheme or uh, reverting to the old pension system OPS. First, what is the old pension scheme? The old pension scheme simply is paying to the government employees. We are talking of government employee scheme. About half their last grand salary as pension. For which there is no contribution from the employees. But the benefit is defined, a defined benefit scheme. There is no separate fund for that. It is not funded. Pay as you go kind of scheme that is the old pension scheme is it new no pension was introduced in this country even during the british time in 1881 and in 1924 the royal commission on civil establishments better known as lee commission recommended that pension should be equal to the half last drawn salary of the government employees. We are looking at the history and the Government of India Act 1935 reconfirmed, reinforced the idea which means it's more than 100 years old the pension facility to the government employees. If the government suddenly, all of a sudden, withdraws this, there would be resistance from the government employees. The government knows more than anybody else that people will resist this because they have been enjoying this old pension, what is called old pension, for so many years. So cleverly, the government started this to give effect prospectively. In 2003, December notification, Government of India announced that the old pension scheme is being abolished and in its place new pension scheme or national pension system NPS is going to be introduced. It said this will be applicable to the people recruited after 1st January 2004, so prospectively. So those employees who were in service that time in 2003 December were not affected. So we did not see so much resistance as we expect to see from the 
employees when any benefit is reduced and the new recruits also after 2004 did not bother much about it then because their concern that time is on their promotions job prospects are changing the job kind of thing but not pension that time but after 20 years they started feeling the heat of the new pension system what is the new pension system the new pension system simply not going into too many details the employees are required to pay 10% on their basic salary and da and the matching contribution from the government of course it was matching when the scheme was introduced in 2003 but later in 2019 the government share has been increased to 14% so the government share employee share together is invested and what are the earnings that uh, these uh, savings or uh, this fund gets given back to the employees at the time of their exit retirement and other situations as per the scheme with the earnings on the investments up to 60% remaining 40% the employees are required to invest in annuities of uh, life insurance companies they get periodically some pension so here contribution is well defined defined contribution benefit is not defined employees do not know how much amount are they going to get so they justifiably oppose the nps now going into the details why the enemies of ops oppose it one thing is the burden on the government increasing fiscal deficit as the fiscal deficit increases they say that the government spending in other areas particularly on capital spending will be eroded it will come down with the erosion in the expenditure on capital the output income and employment will also get affected economy will suffer and another argument is that this old pension paid out of the exchequer the tax payers money to those who have retired is only to the government employees who constitute a minuscule 3% or so less than 4% of the workforce so it is not uh, beneficial to the society as a whole while private sector is not providing this kind of pension there is no reason why the government should provide is the objection and to scare the government what they say it is true that the government is paying pension under old pension scheme as per government's data in the central government itself 67 lakh 95000 persons are the pensioners defense pensioners civil pensioners railways and all others in the central sector for them pension is allowed together with that the new entrants entered into service subsequent to 2004 for them government is giving it share first 10% and now 14% is it not a burden to pay both the opponents of ops say although it looks to be a burden it is short term in the long run if you switch to the old pension scheme then the burden would be four times higher than what it would be without ops also they say that uh, the burden keeps accumulating 0.9% of the gdp a year by 2060 now as a rebuttal those who are demanding old pension scheme say that the government itself claims that the gdp growth in this country is the fastest in the world it is heading towards 5 trillion dollar economy and whereas pension to those less than 4% of the government employees is static and in real terms it doesn't increase because it is not uh, generally inflation indexed pensions are not raised in tandem with the inflation in the country when gdp is growing fast in real terms 6 7% or so as is claimed by the government 
then as a proportion of the gdp the pension burden will come down not increase that is one point the other thing is yes numerically small number of people are benefited with this old pension scheme all right but who is providing this it is the government government in a welfare state in a democratic setup should be an ideal employer to show to the private sector the way tell them look this is the amount that you should pay to your employees it should facilitate in fact at one point the employees provident fund organization introduced the pension similar to this although it is contributory in nature 50% of uh, salary as pension higher pension but unfortunately subsequently it has withdrawn that is another story that it is not allowing to those who are entitled for that so the government should take initiative to increase the pension in the private sector also at least in terms of benefit 50% of their salary it is possible there is a way given the will it should work towards that it should not reduce the government employees pension to bring parity that is not the way then the argument that the life span expanding increasing life expectancy then there is every need to provide further support to the people living longer they should live a dignified life post retirement life the government should not withdraw whatever that is already available to them now coming to the current scenario certain state governments Rajasthan Chhattisgarh Jharkhand Punjab and Himachal Pradesh have already reverted to the old pension and Karnataka is also in the process Telangana government Congress is in government here made a promise in its manifesto to bring back the old pension scheme so it is likely and when the government of india announced we should recall asked all the state governments to come under the scheme and all the state governments one after the other came under this scheme starting from 2003 till very recently but one exception west bengal government never accepted this it did not join the ops and although the tamil nadu government issued a notification to come under this it hasn't been implementing the new pension scheme the national pension system as it should be i understand they are collecting only from the employees the matching contribution or employee share they are not uh, remitting to the fund management agency so it is easy in tamil nadu to revert to the old pension scheme so now so many state governments uh, they have already started west bengal is not implementing karnataka is also in the process and telangana is likely and tamil nadu is likely so the demand is catching fire there has already been agitation all over the country even the railway employees have uh, indicated that they are going to stop the trains on may 1 if old pension scheme is not restored then to a parliamentary question government of india said Mr Pankaj Chaudhary Minister of State for Finance said Rajasthan Chhattisgarh Jharkhand Punjab and Himachal Pradesh whether they demanded for the refund of the money that they remitted to the fund yes they demanded is the government going to give this is the challenge what i was uh, about to tell in reply he says that as per the pension fund regulation and development act 2013 pension regulation 2015 or any other uh, rules there is no provision to refund the money remitted by the state governments or the employees in this manner so the indirect hint is that the government is not going to make the transition back to the old pension scheme smooth going to create problem this is a new challenge but all these challenges could be overcome given the will if government wants it can do this hope the government uh, empathize with the employees senior citizens will revert to the old pension scheme 
without further delay or without giving scope to the agitation all over the country thank you so much for so patiently watching this video please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already as you know subscription is free but still it greatly encourages me to present to you more videos of this type also please click like if you like the video thank you